This is EY Stream. He just realized YouTube is broken. Please stop him from going crazy by hitting subscribe and the bell icon before today's video. Please guys, I need views. <laughs> Guys, EY Stream back here with another episode of our scary survival series. And today, guys, we're going to be heading to the Elder's Village in the Overworld to see if we can find any clues as to what Hades' weakness might be. Now, if you remember last episode, guys, we found the scientist. Except there's one small problem. She is trapped in this machine and every time we try to destroy it, well, it strikes her with lightning, so I'm not going to do it this time because I do not want to hurt my poor friend, the scientist. However, there is a way for us to communicate with her through this sign, weird mind reading thingy ma bob. I don't know what to call it, but it allows us to communicate with her. And she said when we were asking her about Hades' weakness, because the only way to free her from this machine is to kill Hades himself, she said that we might be able to find some clues as to what this weakness might be in the village site, but not the regular village site that we're used to, but the one in this overworld. And we've actually never been there in this real world. So I'm really curious to see what we will find. But that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode, guys. This could be the episode where we discover Hades' weakness. So make sure you stick around till the end, guys. And if you are excited, as always, leave a like on today's video. We're going for 5,000 likes. And of course, guys, if you are new to the channel, as always, make sure to slap the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to ding 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 to never miss an episode. And if you have no idea who's, what's going on, who the guy next to me is, by the way, his name is Test Steve, or who the scientist behind me is, well, you can watch the previous episodes in this series by in the eye, in the top left or right-hand corner. But without further ado, Test Steve, we're gonna save the scientists. We're gonna find Hades' weakness and put an end to his reign of terror. So let's get out of this crazy, scary machine thing. And hopefully this doesn't lock us out because I want to be able to get back to the scientists. But obviously, well, we probably should have tested if that locked us out. But uh, you, know, you know what? I'm just gonna do the benefit of the doubt. We do know the code now. So even if it does lock us out, we should be able to get back in there with no problems at all. And now the next issue is trying to figure out where in the world we are supposed to go to get to the village site in the overworld. Now, I believe that over in that direction was where the portal was, and we walked that way, so I think that way should be where the overworld village is. What do you think, Test Steve? Do you reckon it's that way somewhat? We're waiting? Yep, all right. He definitely thinks it's that way. However, we can't just go straight out that way on the ravine. We're going to first need to get out of the ravine in order for us to go in that direction. So now we've got a, we've got a nice little ladder journey to take. Um, uh, climbing up the ladder, climbing up the ladder. This is very, very boring. I will see you guys in a minute when we're at the top. And we are finally at the top of the ravine. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put some of my stuff in this chest that I do not need. I, I don't need that pickaxe and I don't need the pistons or the hardened glass. All this stuff that we used in order to start the restart portal. So I went ahead and put all the rubbish stuff that we don't need back on that chest, guys. I'm also making some signs just so in case we need Test Steve to communicate with us, we have those signs. But now that we've done that, we got to go find this village site in the overworld. Now, as said, that way was where we came from. Over there is the portal. We can see it in the distance there. It's all activated, very scary, and don't want to ever have to go back to the corrupt dimension. But that means that the Overworld Village site should be in that direction, guys. So, obviously, well, we're going on a road trip. Come on, Test Steve. We're going to see whether or not we can go ahead and find this village. Or at least some sort of remnants of it. I don't really know. We've actually never checked what the village looks like in the Overworld. Because, well, we've never really had an opportunity to. Because we only discovered it existed in the Corrupt Dimension. Hey, Mr. Pig, how you going? Oh, right now. Holy moly. Wait a minute. What? Uh, that doesn't look like the village at all. What in the what? That's not the village that I recognize. I remember there being a giant bell tower right there. And then there was like houses here. There was houses here. Um, and there was like a house next. That's, it's definitely the same terrain. Because there was the mountain there. And the graveyard was on top of the mountain. And there was that little pond, but there was a house next to it. And we built the spirit tower there. This is the exact same terrain. It's still the exact same world, but this isn't the village, guys. What? What? I don't understand. How is this? Why is this not the village? What is this then? If this isn't the village, then what is this? What in the world is, is this some sort of 
tent? I'm really confused. Wait. What in the world? It looks like someone set up a campsite here or something. Wait, what's Test Steve writing, guys? He wrote something on the sign. Look, the bell. Oh my gosh, yes! That's the bell that's in the bell tower, but it's on the ground. And this bell tower does not look complete. I'm so confused. What in the world is going on right now? I don't understand, guys. It, it seems like this is some sort of... It's some sort of campsite, and... There was definitely a house here in, in the corrupt dimension, guys. I don't understand. Somebody is, like, cooking some food, and this is their tent. There's a bell. Wait, what does the sign say? Gone exploring. We'll be back later. Eugene. And there's a map in here. This is a map of the village. Well, not really the village, but the map of whatever this is. This area of the village, guys. We can see that's the tent right there. The ravine is over in that direction. There's the anvil, some beds. There's no one here, Test Steve. Maybe there's a clue in this chest. Just some resources, some empty maps. A book. Log hashtag 29 by Eugene. Wait, I've heard that name before. Eugene, that was the guy who signed off on this sign. Gone exploring. We'll be back later. Is it a breach of privacy if I look at his log, guys? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But this might be the only clue until what this area is. Let's have a look. Exploration log number 29. Today we completed camp near a riverside. That must be this camp right here, guys. There is access to plenty of fresh water and fish. I do not yet know if this is the place which I will raise my family. Maybe if there is gold. So, I'm assuming this guy called Eugene is setting up camp here, but I don't under- I still don't get this. Wait, what is Test Steve trying to show us? Oh my gosh! Matter gems in the ground? But the only time we found matter gems in the ground is either at the corrupt matter mines, which was, I think, over there somewhere, or when we- But the only time we found actual pure matter gems is when we made them. We've never seen- Healthy, blue, pure matter gems in the ground. What? I don't understand, guys. Wait, maybe there's a clue in this chest? Another log. Log 34. Let's have a look at this. Exploration log number 34. Today we broke ground to see if this land is plentiful. We found neither gold, nor iron, nor diamond. Only a blue glowing ore that seems to be unbreakable. It seems useless and only a pain. We may have to move somewhere else. Blue glowing ore... That must be this thing here that they're talking about. They're talking about the matter gem, and when they're talking about breaking ground, this is this here. Wait a minute. Wait, Testy. What is he? What is he saying, guys? And look at this tree. It's alive. Yeah, that's true. There was a tree exactly like this in the corrupt dimension, except it was dead. It was not living. I, I just don't understand. This seems. This seems somehow connected to the village because. This center area was exactly where we saw, like, remember the, like, the end portal, like, the corruption? There were, like, corrupt tentacles coming out of this center pit in the corrupt dimension. There was no matter gems there. And then, like, this is where our house was. This is where we have our house in the corrupt dimension, in fact. And then this is where the bell tower was. And what I don't get is, like, there's this bell here. So, it, this site somehow is connected to the village site in the corrupt dimension. Somehow, some way, I don't know. But there's also this tree. And then, like, the exact same farm is also here. And this farm is also in the corrupt dimension. How of except in the corrupt dimension, obviously, all of this is, uh, it's all dead. But there's some sort of connection here, guys. I just don't know what. But then the connection seems to stop because there's no graveyard up there at all. So is this the same village or what's going on? Wait, is there anything in this chest? Another log. Wait, let's have a look. Log 72. Exploration log 72. We have found a way to unleash the ultimate power contained below the surface discovered in log 38. In log 38? Wait. We only have log 34 and 29. What's log 38? I don't understand. Huh. It requires the sound of purest gold to awaken the gem and release it from hibernation. Gem? Is this talking about the matter gem? Then it can be harvested. Today, we will start building the finest bell tower only using pure quenched gold. Who knows what ringing this bell will do? So this is 
This is supposed to be a bell tower. What they're building here, guys, what this guy, what, what who's writing these books? Eugene? What Eugene is writing about, he, he is, Eugene is building a bell tower right here. So this is not just some sort of coincidence. There's no way this can be a coincidence, Testy. This is definitely supposed to be a bell tower, and the purpose of it is to unleash this so-called ultimate power, whatever this is, discovered in Log 38. But we don't have Log 38. We need to figure out what is this ultimate power. Does this have some sort of connection to Hades? Weakness, guys. Is there anything in these chests? Uh, some more books. Eugene's diary. Wait a minute. Maybe this talks about this ultimate power. Dear diary, my wife thinks this power. His wife. That means there's another person at this site. It's not just Eugene. My wife thinks this is going to get... Thinks the power is going to get to my head. She doesn't get it. This gem is going to let me to start a civilization here for hundreds of years. We will have children and grandchildren who will remember us as legends. This will be a mighty village one day. Test Steve, I have an idea. I don't know whether this is right, but this, this site seems inextricably connected to the village in the corrupt dimension. But it seems unfinished and it's not affected by corruption yet. There's no building, but there is a tent here. There's a half-started bell tower. The pit is the same. The farm is the same. Hear me out, but... What if the Corrupt Dimension isn't just a corrupted version of this world? Like, you know, originally we thought this was a corrupted version of this world, right? But then there were also discrepancies in the Corrupt World. Like, there's no lab in the Corrupt World. Instead, there are the Spirit Caves. So maybe, just maybe, the Corrupted Dimension isn't just a corrupt version of this exact world, but it is a corrupted version of this world in the future. I know, right? Insane! I know it seems crazy, but that would make sense because in the future, this Eugene guy, he's probably become one of the elders of the village, right? And he has a wife, which means they probably had children, right? At least sometime in the future. And this, you know, this tent went from being just a tent to a big village. He talks about wanting to use this ultimate power, whatever it is, in order to start a village. And this bell tower, ringing this bell, is supposed to awaken whatever this power is and that's why that bell tower is there and then also when we summoned the spirit shrine in the corrupt dimension that also had a bell this bell seems related to everything somehow i just don't understand what and what this great ultimate power is and is this ultimate power what we're looking for and is why hades raided this village and made it corrupted because he needed to put an end to whatever this power was because it was his weakness i know it's crazy but Maybe there's a clue in one of these books. We have found a way to unleash the ultimate power contained below the surface. I don't think it's referring to this because they he called the, he didn't call this a gem. He called this a glowing blue rock. So it just doesn't make a lot of sense for this to be what he's talking about, guys. And we know that Hades' weakness isn't the matter gem because he's able to use the power of the matter gem. I don't get it. Is there any other places we haven't looked yet, Test Steve? Yes? The grave but there's no grave up there test steve i know like i don't want to be mean or anything but are you blind because there's no grave up there just head up there uh okay we'll follow you test steve i'm trusting you on this um wait there is a path here though i don't understand wait is test steve trying to write something else he's got a sign in his hand i don't understand do you want is he trying to tell us something i don't get it what's up here wait there's, there's a chest and a mine. There is a mine. That makes sense because in Log 29, he talks about how he needs to see whether there's any gold here. And then it also talks about how below the surface. That would make perfect sense for there be, to be a mine. Is there anything else? Another log in this chest. Wait, let's have a look at this. Log 35. Wait, is this the one? Yes, it is. Log 35. Today we break ground. While the glowing blue rock is unbreakable, we have decided to move up the mountain to search for hopefully what would be a plentiful bounty. So they've clearly given up digging up the matter gems over there, but they started this mine. Maybe there's some more clues about what this ultimate power is in here, guys. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Where does this go? 
Okay, this goes back out the side. Maybe there's something over here, guys. There's another chest in here, and there's some sort of, like, contraption? I think that's a cauldron. What is this contraption for? I don't understand what this is for, guys. Maybe there's something in this chest about it. Log 38. Exploration log 38. Wait, 38? Testy, do you remember log 38? There was a- there was definitely a log 38. It was mentioned in log 72. It said that the surface in the power contained below the surface discovered in log 38. And this is log 38. There is something more down here. Something is glowing. Wait, really? Wait, yo. There is something glowing down there, Testy. Something is glowing. We need to find a way down there. If it glows forever, imagine the power it contains. So down there must be the ultimate power that they- that- Eugene wants to use to start the village and I, I'm almost certain that if this is if if the if the corrupt dimension is in the future and this is in the past guys Does this mean this real world is now fake or does it make the other world fake? Which world is real test Steve is the future real or is this is this the present or is this the past? I Don't understand which world is real. Is it the corrupt dimension? Is it this world? Are there multiple worlds? Multiple timelines? Which one is real? Or is this entire thing fake? My head hurts, Ted Steve. My head hurts. Oh. Guys, let me know in the comments down below which world do you think is real? Do you think both are real? Do you think they exist in separate timelines? Or do you think they're both fake? But they can't both be fake because Ted Steve is real. I don't get it. I don't know. But this, this ultimate power is what Eugene used to start the village. And this ultimate power might be what Hades' weakness is. Maybe if we head further down, guys, there'll be more clues down here. Let's have a look around. Maybe we can find some more logs, guys. Hmm. Dead end, Test Steve. Nothing down here. Surely there's something else here. Another chest! Another chest! And another log. Log 45. Let's have a look at this. Exploration log 45. We found more of the, this glowing ore. There's got to be a way to break it. If we can, we can unleash its power. No one wants to go down to look at the glow below. I guess I'll have to. What glow below? Testy, what are you trying to do? Oh, the glow below. That's that glow there. What do you think's down there? We can't get down there. And it seems like it from this exploration log that nobody wanted to go down there because it's dangerous. Is there any way down there? No, but he says, I guess I'll have to. I don't understand, Testy. What is down there? That has got to be the ultimate power. There's. Do you agree, Testy, that that is the ultimate power that they are using to start the civilization. And this ultimate power, from what we can tell, can only be awakened by the bell tower, and that's why they're building it. Which means that sometime in the future, in the corrupt dimension, they were using this ultimate power, and perhaps that's why Hades raided the base. Perhaps this ultimate power is something more than just an average matter gem. Maybe it's a matter gem, and it has something to do with this bell tower that makes it into Hades' weakness, which could mean that there would be a way for us to make Hades' weakness again. But here's an issue. I don't really know how we can get our hands on whatever that glowing stuff is down there. And I don't really want to go down there without knowing for sure what could be down there. Do you think maybe we should check with the scientist first? All right, that sounds like a plan. That's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna head back to the scientist and see what she thinks about this whole affair. Come on, Test Steve, we've gotta go tell the scientist. Uh-oh, the door's closed. Please open up for me, please. It's open. Scientist, scientist, you will not believe what we found. We did find the village site. However, it's like a pre-built village. I don't know whether it's like the past, like whether this world we're currently in is the present and the corrupt dimension is like a future version or whether we are currently in the past and the corrupt dimension is actually the present. I don't know. It's all very confusing and it's giving me a brain fart, scientist. But here's the thing. We found the village in like a pre-built setting where this guy named Eugene, I get the feeling that he's some kind of elder, was like building a tent, starting up the bell tower, all that good stuff. But he also found some sort of ultimate power, which he was going to use to start the civilization there. And Testy and I think that it might be Hades' weakness. Now, I don't know whether you know anything about a guy named Eugene or you know anything about this past, present Fizzo, but if you know anything, it would really help because that's about as far as we've gotten as far as our clues go. All right, guys, let's see what the scientists have to say. Where did you find this power? When did we find the power, Testy? 
Uh, that's a good question. We didn't really find the power as such, but... Um, wait, he's testing. He's running something, guys. In the mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, scientists, we found it in the mine. You know, um... Wait a minute, there's no mine in the corrupt dimension. Where was the... The graveyard! We found it in the same location as the graveyard. But, you know, the it's like the mine... I don't know, there... Look, this is where the whole past and present and future thing is getting very confusing and wh which world is real and which world is fake, I don't know. But I definitely know that in this world there is a mine where the graveyard is in the corrupt dimension and there is where we found- we saw the glowing thing which I believe is the ultimate power. Okay, what she say? I remember the elders would live at graveyards for weeks. The elders, and if Eugene is an elder and he was living at the graveyard weeks, it doesn't make sense to just live at a graveyard for weeks. He must have been going to that graveyard for some other reason, Testeve. There's no- why would you want to live at a graveyard for weeks? All I know is that's spooky and scary, and only the elders would do it, which means only the elders knew about it, which means Eugene. Let's see what the scientists think. There may be clues below the surface of the graveyard. Yeah, there are clues below the surface of the graveyard, but that's where the mine near- Oh, she means the actual graveyard in the corrupt dimension. What does she say? Nothing. I think that means she's agreed with us, Testeve. She means the graveyard in the corrupt dimension. Sorry, I just needed to stress eat. I needed some bread. I just need to calm down because I think you've just realized what this means, Testeve. We're going back to the corrupt dimension. Ooh.